I'm Kara with Sift by Kara. You can catch me on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Sift by Kara. And I'm going to demonstrate watercolor buttercream. There's so many different, different ways to do this. You can actually even use gel color straight on your buttercream cake, which I do have a YouTube video on. Um, or you can use pre-colored buttercream to do this effect. You don't have to put it in bags. You can just spackle it on too. You don't have to, you can do this straight on a crumb coated cake so it doesn't have to be this finished cake. Um, and there's other people have YouTube videos on that. This is Swiss meringue butter. Well, it's like a combination of my Swiss meringue and my American buttercream together. So it's half Swiss meringue, half American, but all butter. Um, I had, this is caramel. And if you watch my earlier scope, you'll see me put a uh, crumb coat this cake together. Um, let me stand up because my knees. So I used the same buttercream that I covered this cake in um, to color it. And it actually turned out really nice. I like these colors. Um, I used a electric pink for this color. And I think with the caramel tint of that sort of tan color, turned out to make a really kind of cool color. So, um, I like that. And I used elect, um, fuchsia for this. I used fuchsia. And then I used a little bit of fuchsia with regal purple um, for this color. So, I like it. So let's get started because my cake is really chilled up very nicely and you definitely wanna work on a chilled cake. Um, let me put some gloves on. So what I did was I just put in like probably a cup of each uh, for each color because you really don't need a lot um, for this effect. Again, this is just one of many ways. Well, I don't know if there's many ways, but this is one way to do this buttercream. So make sure that your cake is nice and chilled and it is and it's really so simple you guys i'm using um just uh, there's no really rhyme or reason to the size tip i think they're these are probably tip 12 and what is this one this is a 10 so i just need to get it on there and i didn't you know i want the tip large enough so i'm not having um little lines of color so uh no this is an actual this is just a thin cake board that um i picked up i've had so it's not the fanciest but this isn't this is sort of like a quick cake this isn't uh and and it's not going to be heavy this is all there is to this cake um so let's start it doesn't really matter where you start you just want to pipe um random blobs of color um again just random there's no there's no scientific explanation <laughs> and i'm piping and i'm trying to make sure it attaches to the cake okay so This is pretty. <laughs> I don't know if I like this, but. And then I'm gonna go in and uh, add more. I think I want this to be more purple heavy. So I think I'm gonna add lots of purple. Okay, so this is such an easy, but remember, you guys, your cake needs to be very chilled. Your first, if you're doing this method, if you're doing it my way, okay? It's not that cute right now, but it's gonna be. And if you notice, I'm kind of adding them kind of together as well as a few random spots.
So there's not a real method or rhyme to this. Just get it on there. Okay. Using my bench scraper again, I get these bench scrapers from Fat Girl Cakes. Okay. Oh, what's my thing? So, starting, I'm keeping the flat end on my board and I'm pressing gently up against the cake and I'm just going to pull back. So, you can already see it happening. Um, so, I've got to get rid of this. Okay, so I'm using it. So you see how that's already starting to look good, right? So keep going until... Yes, I do have a YouTube channel, Sift by Kara. If someone would be so kind to type that in, that would be great. <laughs> so there is a buildup. So I, I want to keep scraping down until it's sort of... Now, you can take what is not soft, sift, S-I-F-T. <laughs> you can take this, too, and sort of like, see, I have a bit of a, like a gap here. And keeping it right where it is, I can sort of take that and then smear it on. Okay, do you did this one. So I'm just scraping down to the de desired effect. Now the more you scrape down, then you'll start to pull away color, like down here. But I like that. <laughs> that works for me. Okay, so keep going around. So you guys see how easy this is. Uh-oh. Sorry, didn't mean to shake you. I don't think there is a wrong way to do this either. I think you just sort of do it until you like it. So I am kind of going back, and uh, but now I'm just sort of scraping it down. Okay, make sure you get that off. That actually turned into a nice purple color, so you could keep that. Um, so now I'm just checking my cake to see how I like it. So here I want to clean this little area up. So I'm just going to do a light scrape down. And then I am. I'm going to use the buildup on my bench scraper and add it where I like it. And I kind of like... I like the imperfections of the cake. So don't be, you know, like, it's not meant to look perfect. I don't know that there is a such thing as perfect watercolor. <laughs> Ooh, I even like that. You see that look? That like, like, that's cool. That's cool. And then you look at these beautiful cakes from these cake artists and they have this cool look, and you're like, how the heck did they do that? Like, that's so awesome. Well, I did it just like that. Let's do, let's do another one. <laughs> I have build up on my, um, my bin scraper, and I'm just gonna sort of pull off, and oh, can I recreate it? Maybe not. But I like it, I'm keeping that. This cake, um, if you look at my previous scope, you'll see how I stack this cake. It's for it. cake layers. Hi with three. Oh, see, I did it again. Who likes that? Happy accident. I like it. But I don't like this ridge to be so ridgy. So I'm going to go back this way and just sort of blend it away a little bit. Um, okay, so that is that. I like the way it's looking. So right now all I'm doing is sort of like texturizing it a little bit. Um, maybe 
blend so that the lines aren't so like obvious. So I'm pressing a little bit more on the cake. Uh, I'm gonna glide over my imperfections there because I like to keep them. And that, you guys, is it. I might want to add some color here because I'm not uh, liking to see too much of that. So add maybe just a little bit. So you can go always go back and add more. But then you scrape it away. So if your cake starts to warm up on you, you might have to take a break and put it in back in the fridge or freezer. Freezer, that way you don't have to wait so long. And I'm using what is on my um, fill-in. So you just keep messing with it until you like it, but be careful not to mess with it too much because sometimes you can just overkill. All right, guys, that's it. I'm gonna leave this edge. If you see there's a buildup right here, I'm gonna leave that. If, if, if I wanted to, you guys, you would do the same thing with the top. You would add, um, but I'm not going to. You would add uh, colors and then you would just take your offset and scrape it down okay for the top but I'm going to leave this right here and pop this back in the refrigerator and then later I'm going to cut it with a knife I'm just going to cut off that edge and then I'll drip my um, ganache over it but I like it I don't know if you guys can see the sort of imperfections and texture around the cake as well which I think is cool I like it. So enjoy, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the hearts.